Hi, my name is Josh Langley and I'm a cheer squad member for the Premier's Reading Challenge. Today, I'm going to be reading from my book, How to Be a Wonder Hunter. Let's go wonder hunting, shall we? Now, this book is for Sue. Life doesn't have to be just about schoolwork, watching TV and picking up dog poo. It can be way cooler than computer games, chatting online and watching funny videos. Because life is totally next level when you become a wonder hunter. So, let's learn to live the wonder hunter life. Being a wonder hunter makes everything way more playful and much more fun than you could ever imagine. You can go on exciting journeys, explore new places, discover weird and wonderful things, and create all kinds of ideas and stories. Are you ready to become a wonder hunter? I think you are. Let's look at the Wonder Hunter Toolkit. Because you know what? You already have everything you need to become a wonder hunter. Yes, you do. Firstly, a body. I think you've got a body. Your size, shape, or ability doesn't matter. Anyone can be a wonder hunter. Yes, anyone, including you. Senses. You need all or some of the following. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue, skin. You know what? Skin is good for holding your guts in. You use these senses to feel and notice the world around you. Imagination. Your brain already comes preloaded with an imagination. That's where all your ideas come from. What about a curious mind? Have you ever asked a question? Then you have a curious mind. What about dreams? We all dream at night, and it's good to remember what we dream about. It's a different way our minds can make sense of things and solve problems. Okay, let's get into the training now. Training to be a wonder hunter. Step one, learning to notice stuff. When you start to notice what's around you, it's amazing what you can discover. It's like finding treasure. What can you notice around you right now? What can you really see? Now listen. What sounds can you hear? What can you smell? Now you can start noticing in different places. Your bedroom, the backyard at school, or by a small creek. If you want to see what it's like to really see something, try watching a ladybird through a magnifying glass. And you can discover new places by finding out where the ants are going. Ooh, there they go. And you can notice, what does rain smell like? Training to be a wonder hunter. Step two, find the wonder of food. Food is a doorway to new and exciting experiences. So open up and let the flavours in. What new foods could you try? Pick a country and discover its national dish. Italy's mine. Or make up something new. How about putting spaghetti in an ice cream cone? Training to be a wonder hunter. Step three, enjoy the wonder of daydreaming. As a wonder hunter, your imagination is one of the most powerful things you can have. You can take your imagination with you anywhere. To the toilet, to the shops, and to school. With your imagination, you can go on adventures, create stories, make new worlds, and imagine doing things you never thought you could. Your imagination, use your imagination to help overcome fears, solve problems, or to practice for something in real life. Reading lots of books, will fire your imagination and take you on lots of adventures. You're going on an adventure right now just by reading this book. Training to be a wonder hunter. Step four, ask the wonder questions. A wonder hunter should always be wondering about something. Hmm. It keeps the wonder alive. I wonder what makes me angry. I wonder what makes me happy. I wonder why I think the thoughts that I do. I wonder if birds are ever afraid of heights. I wonder what it's like to be someone else. I wonder what my dreams mean. 
Where do they come from? The Wonder Hunter, final checklist. Okay, you've got all these things. You've got a body, you've got your senses, you've got an imagination, a curious mind. You're noticing new things around you. You're trying different foods. You're exploring your imagination. You're curious about life. You're asking lots of questions. You're reading lots of books. Very important, read lots of books. And you're remembering your dreams. Congratulations. You are now officially a wonder hunter. Life will never be boring again. So here's your Wonder Hunter ID badge. Job title, Wonder Hunter. Job description, find the wonder in life. Time to go wonder hunting. But before you do, let me share with you a little story. When I was a kid, I found a very old notebook in the back of the garden shed. It was hidden behind a pile of wood. On the cover it said, Wonder Hunting, a field guide. Then on the inside page, there was a message and it read, To Josh, keep this book close as it holds the secret to living a wonderful life. Yours forever, Josh from 2022. I wonder. Thank you for reading along with me of how to be a wonder hunter. You can now log this book as part of the Premier's Reading Challenge. I now give you permission to go off wonder hunting.